Hi there. In today's video, we are working on my ChatGPT in C project once again, and we are doing some dynamic memory allocation. So let me show you, if you haven't seen the previous videos, what we have so far, and just to recap. So if I build and run this project, we open this ChatGPT clone here with some example messages, and we can scroll through this list and if we resize the window, then we have word wrap here, which we implemented from scratch. So this is using Raylib to render everything. And we also added this conversation list here, so we can create a new conversation, and then we can say hello, and we will get an answer from ChatGPT. And we can create as many conversations as we want, and we can select whatever conversation and say, write hello world in C, and it's going to answer from the ChatGPT API. And then we can switch between these conversations. Now, I said that we can add as many conversations as we want, but in fact, we cannot. Because I am saving the conversations in this message list variable, which is an array. It is a multidimensional array. And when we declare the array like this, we have to provide the maximum values so that the memory will be allocated for this array. And there are a few problems with this approach. First of all, we have to declare all these maximum values, which is not that nice. And second of all, we have to allocate the memory, like I said, in advance for all these messages. So we will allocate more memory than we actually need. Now, I guess messages aren't that big in memory, but still, it is not that nice to allocate unnecessary memory. And also, when you declare the variable like this, the memory will be allocated on the stack. If I'm not mistaken, I am a complete C noob, so I might be mistaken about many things. But as far as I know, this is now stored in the stack instead of the heap. And the stack memory is limited. So what if I go up here and I set our maximum conversations to, for example, 250? Maybe we will have 250 conversations. And if I build and run this, we get a segmentation fault. And I believe the reason for this segmentation fault is that we ran out of the stack memory. So I guess we got a stack overflow. All these years I have been using stack overflow, but I have never experienced one myself until now. So let's move to using dynamic memory allocation. So to use dynamic memory allocation, we have to use the malloc function and also the realloc function. Now, before we start doing that, let's take a look at what this array looks like in memory. It is something like this. This is the memory. And in the memory, we have an address and we have a value. So memory is just some addresses with some value in that address. So what is then a char message hello? What is this? Now, I'll use just hi to make it short. What does this actually mean? in memory. Now, this is going to be a pointer, and you can actually define this as a pointer to high. I'm not quite sure what the difference is between these, because I think ultimately when you use this or this, it will be the same thing. But what this pointer is, it is a pointer to the first character in this string. So let's say it is an address of 1000. I'm not sure how memory is addressed, but I will just use some numbers here. And the value of this address will be h. And then we are going to have another address, let's say 1001, which will be i. And how strings work in C is that you will then have a null character that terminates the string. So we will have 1002, which will be a null character. So this is a pointer to the memory address 1000. And then when we want to read the string, we just read the first letter and we increment the pointer by one and get the next letter, and we increment the pointer again, and we get a null character, so we know, okay, that is the end of this message. Now, how can we have an array of multiple messages? How does that work? We can do it like this, but this handles the magic of allocation in the background. We don't have to care about that. Well, let's think about this. If we would have another string in memory, let's say this is 3001 and 3002 and 3003, and this would be ho. So we have the message hi and the message ho. So how could we have an array with these messages? Well, we can have a pointer to a pointer. 
So if we would have something like this, message one is this and message two is high, um, this is whole. So here's high and here's whole. How could we have these in an array? Well, we could have char star star conversation or messages. And what would this be? Now, this is still a pointer, but it's a pointer to a pointer. So let's add it here. Our messages variable, let's say it is 4001. Then what is the value of this memory location? Well, this is a pointer to the address 1000. So this is a pointer to the first character of the first string. And then we can have also 4002, which is a pointer to 3001, which I just realized I <laughs> numbered this wrong. So this should be 1000, 1001, and 1002. And this should be 3000, sorry, 2000, and 2001, and 2002. And this is 3 and 3. Okay. So 3001 is the messages variable, and it points to number 1000. And then 3002 is going to be a pointer, again, to 2000. So now if we say that messages is 3001, we can then increment this pointer and read the next one, which will be the next string. So this way we can have an array of strings. Now, how do we set the value of this to these two variables? Well, we have to use malloc to allocate some memory so that we can store these pointers in this variable. So how malloc works is you give it the size in bytes how much you want to allocate. And what we can say here is we can say size of a char star. So the size of a character pointer times two, because we have two character pointers and we want to allocate memory for those. So we can do that. And now that we have allocated the memory, then we could set those pointers. So we could say messages zero is message one. Now I'm not sure if we did it like this, do we have to add this address of message one? I think not, because it is already a pointer. <laughs> and then we can say messages index one is going to be message two. Let's actually move this into a separate file so we can test this out. So let's do malloc test.c and let's include stdio and let's also include stdlib, which we need to use for malloc. And Maybe we need to include string.h as well. I'm not quite sure. And let's create main and return zero. And let's paste all of this stuff here. And let's try to print out messages zero and messages one. So if we do printf message one is going to be messages zero. And we are going to add a new line here. And message two is messages one. Let's see if this thing compiles. So GCC O malloc test malloc test. Sorry, it should be the other way. Malloc test malloc test dot C. And let's run malloc test. And look at this. We have high and ho. So now we have allocated memory for these two strings. What if we want to have multiple conversations with multiple messages? Well, let's think about this. We need another pointer, and this time it is going to be a pointer to a pointer to a pointer, because we have to point to this thing, which is already a pointer to a pointer. So let's say we would have then a char star 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 conversations. And what would this be then? We have to malloc size of a char star star times, let's say two again, let's create two different conversations. So let me rename this to conversation one. And let's create another one. This is going to be conversation two. And of course we have to rename this. So let's do one B for example here and one B. And let's call this yo. And let's call this go. Now maybe I can actually just put these here as string literals. Let's see if that works. Because a string literal I guess is a pointer to the string. So we don't have to have these unnecessary variables here. So let's do that. And I'll remove this for now and I will try if this in fact works. Yes, we still have high and ho. So now we are going to have two different conversations. So conversation one would be 3001, which points to the first message. 
and then 3002 is going to be the second index of this conversation one, which points to the second message. So then the second conversation would be, let's call this 4000, and let's call this 5000, and let's call this 6000. And this would be then yo, and this would be go. And 6001 is again conversation two, which will point to number 4000. And 6002 is going to point to 5000. So now we have our two conversations in memory. So what is then conversations? Well, let's create 7000, which is a pointer to what? Well, 7000 is the conversations, which will be a pointer to the first conversation, which is number 3001. So this points to 3001, which points to 1000, which is H. And then 7001 is going to point to 6001. So the first index or index zero of conversations will point to 3001, which will be conversation one, which is going to be a pointer to 1000. So a pointer to the first character of the message. So let's do that. Let's add here conversations index zero is going to be conversation one and conversations one is going to be conversation two. Now with the strings, we have this null character that tells the end of the string. So when we increment the pointer, we can find the null character and then we know to stop there. But with these conversations or these messages and these conversations, we don't have a null character. So we could either allocate one more for each of these things and then set here the last one to null. And then we can detect from this if we are in the last one. Or we could save a number of how many conversations we have and how many messages in each conversation. And I'm in fact going to do that. So let's set an integer pointer message count. Now, what is this? It is a pointer, again, to a memory location that has an integer. So let's call this 8000. And it is going to contain a number. And the first number will be the number of conversations in conversation one. So here we would have two and then 8001 would be two as well, because we have two messages on both conversations. And we also need a conversation count, which is just an integer. Int conversation count is one. Sorry, two, because we have two conversations. So now that we have created this, then we should be able to do this. For int i equals zero. i less than conversation count i plus plus. So we can loop through all of the conversations. And then we can say that printf conversation d, and we pass in i plus one. And then for each of the conversations, we can loop through all the messages in that conversation. So we can do for in x is zero, x less than message count index i. So the index will be the conversation index. And then we do x plus plus. And then we can do printf message and let's put the d here again and it will be x plus one and we can actually print the message that is in there so let's put s here and s is going to be the conversations index x so this will be the message so now we should loop through all the conversations and all the messages and print them out but we did not initialize message count so we have to do that. So we have to, again, use malloc to allocate some space for the message count. So let's malloc the size of an integer times how many conversations we have. And we have right now two conversations, so we will allocate two in there. And it's probably a good idea to initialize these as well, because malloc will just allocate memory from the heap, but there might be some memory there already. So we should set it to something. So let's do message count index zero is going to be zero. Sorry, it's going to be two. And message count index one is going to be two as well, because we have two messages in both of these conversations up here. So now if I did not do anything wrong, then this should work. Let's see if this works. So I'm going to compile it. And in fact, I get an error. 
because I only referenced conversations X, but I in fact have to do conversations I X. So I is the conversation and then X is the message. So let's do that and it compiles. And if we run it, then here we have a conversation one, message one, hi, and message two, ho, and conversation two, message one, yo, and message two, go. So it works. Now, how do we then add more messages dynamically? Because this is still not really dynamic. I just set these numbers. So how could we add another conversation? Well, let's create a function. Let's say add message. Let's add messages first. Add the message and Let's pass here the conversation that we want to add a message to. So let's say we want to add to the first conversation, which is conversations zero. We will pass this as a reference, so a pointer to this pointer. And then we also need the message count. And we also pass that as a reference because we want to actually change it. So let's pass in that message count index zero. So let's implement this function. So let's go up here and say void add message. And we will pass in the, what is this? This is the conversation. So it is going to be a char star star. Now, in fact, we have to add one more star because this is a reference. So this is going to be char star 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 conversation. And we are going to have an integer star message count. And what we need to do now is we need to use the realloc function. So we have to allocate more space for the messages. So let's say this, let's dereference the conversation and let's say it equals realloc. And let's again pass here the conversation and dereference it. So we have to use dereference so that we convert this pointer into what actually is in there which is again another pointer. So then we can actually modify. Because I think if we would remove this pointer and this pointer, and then we don't pass it as a reference, then we can modify it, if I'm not mistaken. So we are going to add the extra star here, and then we are going to dereference that reference. And again, we do the same thing here, because we have to pass in the pointer that we want to reallocate into realloc. And then it will return a new pointer where the new memory location is. So this is going to be conversation again, and we are going to allocate more space. So let's do size of, and again, in the conversation, we have pointers to messages. So let's do char star times message count plus one. So we allocate space for the new message. Now you might want to have some other kind of allocation logic because maybe you don't want to reallocate every time. Maybe you want to allocate some space for multiple messages and then only when you go above a threshold then you again allocate for a bunch of messages. I'm not quite sure what is the best way of doing this but you probably should do something like this because it is not that good to call realloc very often. I guess it's kind of a slow procedure because you might have to move your memory into many different locations every time to increase it. But for now, I am going to do it just like this. So every time we add a message, we will allocate some space for that message. And we, of course, have to dereference the message count as well. So that we get the actual integer and not the pointer. And then, of course, we have to pass in the message we want to add. So let's add that. So it is going to be a char star message. And then we can write into this newly allocated spot in memory, the message. So we can say that um, dereferenced conversation index message count is going to be the pointer of our new message because this is zero indexed. So I'm also going to add parentheses here so that it will dereference the right thing. And we are going to do strcpy into this position in memory. And this has to be dereferenced as well. And we are going to write in there the message. And then we want to increment the message count since we added a message. So again, I'm going to add it in parentheses, message count plus plus. So now we add a message to the conversation and then we increment the message count. So let's go down here and actually add the message. This is the new message. 
And this can be now any length. But actually, we have to allocate the space for the actual message. I forgot that. So this is a pointer to the new message, but we didn't initialize any space for it. So we have to, again, use malloc. So we have to say that this is going to be malloc, and it will be the size of a char. Now, this is actually unnecessary, because the size of a char is one every time. But I've seen often people use size of char and then times strlen of the message. So we allocate space for the message in this message pointer that is in the conversation. And I believe this has to be plus one. And I will in fact remove this size of char because it is always one. So it's unnecessary. And I add plus one because strlen will return the actual length of the, like how many letters are in the message, but we have to allocate one more byte for the null character, which str copy will add automatically. Well, I guess it will be in the message already. So, But now this should work. So let's see if we are going to add to the first conversation a new message. So let's compile this and it compiled. And if we run it, then look at this. We have a message. This is the new message. And we should now be able to add as many messages as we want, because we are always reallocating the list of messages so that we will have one more spot for another message. And then we are allocating space for that message and then writing the message in there. So if we do this and we compile it and we run it, then we get the messages here. And we can also add some of these messages into index one. So the second conversation. And if we compile it and we run it, then we also added something here. Now, how do we add more conversations? So what if we want to say add conversation, then we have to do exactly what we did up here. So we have to do this. So let's do it. What do we need for this function? Well, we need the conversations, the actual conversations point. So the array of conversations as a reference so that we can edit it. And then we need the conversation count again as a reference so that we can edit it. So let's do conversation count. And we might pass in like a title for the conversation, but right now we don't have conversational titles. So let's just do this. And we might return from this function, the pointer to the new conversation. So we might say that the char star star conversation three is equal to this. So it's char star star because it is a pointer to the pointer of a message, right? So here it is char star star. So let's implement add conversation function. So let's say void add conversation. And we will get the char pointer, 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 pointer to the conversations. So this one points to this thing. So we have to add four stars. And it is actually not void, it is char star star, because we are going to return a char star star from this, which is the new conversation. And this is going to be the conversations. And we have to pass in the integer pointer to the conversation count. And I believe that is all. So what we have to do here is we have to, again, use realloc to reallocate the memory for the conversations array. Let's do that. Let's again dereference conversations and set it to realloc star conversations and the size of what? Well, in the conversations pointer, we are going to have char star stars in there. And how many of them do we have? Well, we have conversation count plus one. And again, we have to put this in parentheses so that this multiplication works. And this has to be dereferenced. So it's actually the number. And then we have to initialize the new conversation. So let's do again conversations index conversation count is going to be malloc size of a char star because in the conversation we have the messages which are character pointers and we can say times now here again how many messages do we want to allocate first well really we don't need anything we could just set it to zero because we don't have any messages yet but i'll just put one message right now and then we will reallocate it 
up here when we add a message. So this is the same as this. So we're going to reallocate this up here when we actually add a new message. But here we of course have to use the size of function because it is a char star. Now I actually don't know how big is a char star. But anyway, then we also should increment the conversation count. So let's do conversation count plus plus. And that should be it. Now again, we are using malloc here. So we are allocating some space here. So perhaps we should like initialize it with something. But since this is a list of messages and we don't have messages, then I'm sure we have to do that. But we have to also initialize the message count for this conversation. So we have to pass in the int star message count. So then that means we have to also reallocate the message count pointer because we have to have one more integer in the message count for this new conversation. So let's say message count dereferenced is realloc message count and with the size of int because we have integers in there and how many times? Well, conversation count plus one. And again, we have to dereference this thing. So now we are going to have one more space for an integer and we have to set that integer. So let's say message count index conversation count is going to be zero because there are no messages right now. Because if we don't set this to zero, there might be something already in that memory location that we allocated for message count. And maybe there's a number already. And if there's a number, then we are going to try to read that message and then everything will fail. So let's do that. So we also need the message count. So let's pass it in here. A reference to message count. And let's just try and do that. And let's compile it. And we get a bunch of errors. So what did I do wrong? Aha. If we dereference message count, we get an integer. So in fact, we should define it as a int star star because we actually want the whole pointer to the message count. Up here we only wanted the message count, but here we want the pointer so that we can modify the actual pointer with real. And here of course I have to dereference conversation count as well. So that it converts from a pointer to an integer. And let's try to recompile this thing and it worked. So let's run it and see if we have a new conversation, which we do have here. So let's now try to add some messages to the conversation. So let's copy some of these and let's say, in fact, we can now use um, conversation count, sorry, conversation count minus one, I guess, because we incremented it already here. And we can do the same here, which makes this very unreadable. So let's do something like this. So now we create a conversation and we add some messages to it. Now, in fact, we don't have to do this up here now, because here we are just manually creating the conversations. So we can remove this and we can remove that. And this can be just malloc one conversation because we are going to reallocate it and we are going to have the conversation count two, which is actually going to be zero now. And message count will be Again, it can be just one because we don't have any messages. It could be zero. Both of these could be zero. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but we could just do this. Malloc zero. Great. Can I, in fact, set it to null? Can realloc reallocate null? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> so then we can just do all of this stuff. So we can just add conversations. So if we do this a couple of times, then we should create three conversations all with two messages. Let's see. We, in fact, have an error here. Um, ah, conversation three. So I'm actually not using these um, conversation threes here because I just use the index here. So I might as well just remove that. So let's compile it and let's run it. And here we have conversation one with two messages, conversation two with two messages, and three with two messages. And we can just add to any conversation here. If we want to add a couple more of these messages to the second one, then if we compile and we run it, actually it was the first one, <laughs> then we will add it there. So now we can add as many conversations and as many messages as we want if we have enough memory <laughs> on our computer. And messages don't take that much memory, so that should be fine. Now, 
it is very important in C to free the memory after you use malloc or realloc. Now, in the case of this kind of program that just runs and stops, it doesn't really matter because the memory will be freed by the operating system. But if you have a long running application and you do all this memory allocation in many places, and then you stop using some of that data, then you want to free it because otherwise you will just keep adding more and more memory and then you will run out eventually. So let's create some function called um, conversation free or let's call it um, conversations free and we will pass in the reference to the conversations. Not sure if it has to be a reference or not, maybe not because it is a pointer. So we just pass in the conversation. Now, what does this look like? Well, we have to do a bunch of freeing because we use malloc in two places here and we have somewhere else do we have a malloc? No, just two places, okay. And in fact, because we set this to null and we didn't use malloc here, so we have to also do those. So probably four things we have to free or five things. Let's create first a function void message free. And I will, in fact, rename these things. So I will say message add, and I'm going to say conversation add. And let's create this message free function, which will take the char star star message, and it will free the message, which I guess is pointless to have a different function, but maybe we want to do something else here as well. And let's also create a void conversation free. And in fact, I did not return from here as I was supposed to the conversations, um, this one. So this is the new conversation. And of course I have to do minus one now because I already incremented it here. And sorry, not from message count, from conversations. And it still complains something, which is because we didn't finish our function here. So when we free a conversation, we have to pass in the char star star conversation and we also need to pass in the message count because we have to free all of the messages in this conversation so let's pass in int message count and i guess this can be just an integer because we just want the count so then what we can do is we can say for int i is zero i less than message count i plus plus and we are going to do message free and pass in the messages, so conversation index i. And then finally we are going to do free the actual conversation. And then I made here conversations free, so we have to pass in the conversations and the conversation count. So let's do that as well. Let's say void conversations free, and this will take the tar, star, 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 conversations, and int conversation count and we are going to do for in i is zero i less than conversation count i plus plus and we are going to do conversation free with the conversation index i and this will then handle the actual messages here so we don't have to make a loop in here and we need the message count so in fact we have to pass in the message count here so let's say message count index i. So we have to pass that in. int star message count. And finally we will free the actual conversations. Now we have to free the message count somewhere. Where do we free that? So in conversation add we reallocate the memory. So I guess in conversation free we should again reallocate. Yeah, what do we do when we want to free the conversation, because we still need the message count possibly for the other messages. So we can't just free that. Should we reallocate the message count to make it smaller? Is that even possible? I don't know. So probably it's a good idea to do it here. Let's free the message count when we remove all the conversations. Now I guess if we add a bunch of conversations and then we remove a bunch of conversations, then we are going to still have the whole message count filled up. So should we reallocate it? Because what is going to happen if we reallocate it to make it smaller? How does it know what it's going to drop off? It's going to drop off from the end, but maybe we didn't remove the last one. 
a very interesting point that I am not sure how to answer at this point, but let's see if this works. So do we have some errors somewhere? It is red up here, so something is maybe wrong. Here we have to pass in the message count. And now we are green, so let's try and run this. So let's compile it, and we have mismatched types. Message free char star, but argument, uh, but expect that uh, char star star. Message free once, uh, it's uh, just a char star, because I think we just can pass in directly the message like that. So let's see if that works. It compiles, and if we run it, it works. But now, how do we know that we freed everything? Because it won't give an error if we didn't free everything. Now, I guess there's lots of debugging tools, but one thing we can do is we can do this. Let's add this whole thing in a loop. Let's say for int z equals zero, z less than 100,000, z plus plus. And we are going to do this whole thing 100,000 times. And I am in fact going to remove my prints because I don't want to print this 100,000 times. So I'll just comment this out. And then in the end, I will add a sleep of, let's say, 20 seconds. And in order to use sleep, I have to include a uni std. And then if I run this now and actually compile it first and then run it, then it will run it 100,000 times and then sleep for 20 seconds. And what I can do while it's running is I can run sudo pmap x and I can pass in the process ID of this process. So I will in fact start it with an ampersand so I get the process ID and if I put this here and I run it then it will tell us how much memory we used and we didn't use much. 1, 2, 5, 6. So let's see if we remove this free function from here and we compile it and we run it and we copy this process ID and we run pmap again then we used a bunch more. So here's one way we can check that we are freeing everything. And I think we are freeing everything because this is a pretty small number. Now we could try what if we add 200,000. It shouldn't double. The number shouldn't double because we should be freeing all the memory. So we should be using just the same amount of memory. So let's compile this and let's run it and copy this ID and run pmap again and we are still at the same number. So now we are freeing everything. So that's great. Now I would like to convert this into using structs instead of just character pointers, but I don't think I have enough time in this video, so I will just convert my ChatGPT clone to use this method. So let's copy our functions. We should be able to just use these functions. So we will copy them and we will put them up here. And then let's see when we add messages. Let's go down here. First of all, I can remove this stuff. And let's see where we use message list. So we have a function message list add into which we pass in the current conversation and the message count of that conversation and the message, which I think is exactly the same that we did here. So we can just modify our function to use this format. But first, let's initialize these variables here. So we do not need the message list anymore. And we have the conversation count here, which we will set to zero now. We have the current conversation, which is also zero, which we actually want to increment when we add a conversation. Oh, when we, yes, when we add a conversation, we want to increment the current conversation as well. But we have this and we have message count this way now, so we can remove that. Okay, so let's go to message list add. And right now we are just doing this. We are just copying the message into the specific place in the array. But I will remove this and I'll just actually rename the function to message add. Message add. And this is actually conversations, not message list. So I am going to rename it conversations and conversations. In fact, every place that has message list, I will call it conversations. Conversations. Okay, I won't rename it in here with the message list draw. Just here. Conversations. And then 
what else do we have? Somewhere we are going to add new conversations, which I think happens actually now in conversation list draw, which is not really the right place for it, but down here we are checking if we are clicking on this button, which is the new chat button, we are incrementing current conversation and the conversation count. So what I will do here is I will call a conversation add and I'll pass in the conversations and the conversation count and the message count. And I actually have to pass in also the current conversation. And here we are not using message list anymore. This is going to be the um, char star star conversation. Actually conversations and it's going to be char star star star. <laughs> And then message count is not here. So we have to pass message count into this function as well. So I'll add int star message count. And this should be actually the other way. And this wants to be a int star star. So we have to pass it as int star star. Because again, it's a reference to the pointer. And we want to edit the pointer. And this one also has to be a pointer to the pointer to the pointer to the pointer. Because... We want to edit the and still it's complaining because this is int star star. Uh, too many arguments. Wait a minute. Yes, so uh, the current conversation was a new thing we added. So let's edit conversation add and let's pass in here the int star conversation count. And sorry, the current conversation. Current conversation. And we have to increment that as well. So what is next? Let's search for message list. Do we still have it somewhere? Um, conversation list draw will need the current conversation. Um, conversations, conversation count, and current conversation and font. And message count. Okay. Um, message count. And um, this has to be a reference to the conversations. And are we using message? It's somewhere here. Message list draw. So this is going to be a char star star. Uh, let's call it conversation. And what are we doing here? We are getting the message which will be from the conversation index i. And that should be it. Let's see if we have message list somewhere else. We do not. Okay, let's try to compile this and see what happens. So we are going to compile the main thing, GCC, sorry, we use the build script and we run main. And we got a bunch of warnings. So let's see. Message add from incompatible pointer type. Okay, that is because we have to pass this as a reference because we want to modify it. So all of these are references to the conversation into which we want to add a message. So let's compile it again. And now we are at a very nice place where we get a segmentation fault and no errors. So what are we doing wrong? We are probably trying to access some index that we have not yet initialized. So let's just do this. Let's print F hello here and let's do just exit zero. I have yet to learn how to use a debugger so this is my debugging right now. So we said hello and we exited, no problems. Let's do after the first message add, we get a segmentation fault. So we are in fact trying to add a message to the current conversation but we don't have a current conversation. So we should add a conversation in the beginning. So let's do conversation add and we are going to pass in a reference to the conversations and we are going to pass a reference to the conversation count and a reference to the message count and the current conversation which is also a reference to the current conversation. And let's try it now. If we build and run then we don't get a segmentation fault. So let's run this now without our debugging and we get another segmentation fault so let's see where that comes from let's add it after we add all these sample messages and in fact 
no segmentation fall. Now, this is not the best way of doing this, because at least from my testing, it seems like it doesn't always print the segmentation fault, even if it happened here. I don't know how that's possible, maybe because this is a compiled language, so stuff like that can happen. But still, we are saying hello here, and it must be at this point that we get the segmentation fault, so probably in message list draw. Let's actually see. So we pass in the conversations, current conversation, the message count, and the font. Okay, so what are we doing here? The message is conversation i. So what is this? It's going to start, this is going to be zero, so we are just going to run this once. So we have a char pointer, which is going to be conversation i, which is the first message. Now, we do not have a first message. No, we, we shouldn't run this, actually, because we don't... No, we have messages. Wait a minute. <laughs> we add the sample messages. Okay. Now, it is because this is... A, okay, we have to dereference this right, because this is... No, it, this is not the... This is not a reference to the pointer. It's the actual pointer. Let's see. Since I, I'm just setting the message here to this, can I just move this down here? Because this is kind of unnecessary here anyway. So let's try and do that. And we still get a segmentation fault. So let's just add a print hello here or something else than hello. Test and exit. And let's run it. And that works. So up to here, everything's okay. Well, how about up to here? That is okay too. Well, how about here? Segmentation fault. So what happens there? Draw text wrapped is going to take const char star text. So conversation. Do we pass in the right thing here? Yes, it is conversations index current conversation. And message code of the current conversation. So what is wrong here? That should be an integer. So th this must be wrong now. What if we just add hello here and we build and run? Then we do not get a segmentation fault. So if we remove this from here and we run it, then we went back to hello. And then if we remove the hello, which is here, then we actually open it and we get the messages here, but it's not the actual message. So conversations index current conversation. What is that? Conversations is a pointer to a pointer to a pointer. And here we add to it, which will reallocate it with conversation count plus one, which is going to be one. We will have one conversation in the beginning. And then the first conversation is going to be allocated with one character pointer. And the message count will be reallocated to the size of conversation count plus one integers. So that should be fine. And the conversation count index in the message count will be zero. So the new conversation that we added, its message count will be zero. I don't see a problem here. So um, what is going on? What if we do printf and we pass in the string, which will be conversation index i, and we run it, segmentation fault. That means we don't have this. What is index i? Let's just pass in the d with the i. Let's say i is this and a new line. Okay, we are incrementing i all the time. So why does that happen? Is message count a pointer? So should this be... Wait a minute. What is message count? Let's pass in message count here. Message count is... 21,958. So is that a pointer? Wait a minute. Okay. The compiler didn't warn about this, so this must be an integer. Because if we try to dereference it, it's probably not going to work. So that is correct here. So we can just pass here the conversation index i, but somewhere a message count is incrementing the index and not the actual number. So here we are passing a pointer to message count. Pointer to a pointer of message count. Okay. And here we pass it as a reference, right? Yes, there's an ampersand over here. 
and then we pass it into this one. Well, actually, we don't do this, so this shouldn't happen because this is when we click to add a new conversation. So what does conversation add do? In fact, message add, um, this should add to the message count and this should be correct because we dereference it. So let's print after message add the message count. So let's do um, D message count and let's build and run. Message count is <laughs> this. Okay. Well, of course, this is that because this is the pointer. But we want message count current conversation. What is that? Ah, we have to set current conversation to begin from minus one because we increment that from this. So we are setting the current conversation to an index that doesn't exist. That must be the problem. So now if we build and run this, then here it is. Finally, it works. So now we have all our messages here and we can scroll this down and we can add a new conversation and we can say hello and we get the message and we can switch between conversations. So we did absolutely nothing in this almost two hour video. Well, I'll edit it down to maybe one hour 20, but it in fact works now. And we can add these conversations and we can add as many conversations as we want, except we don't have scrolling on this side yet. So we can't actually open them, but yeah, if I say, write a poem about C programming language, then we are going to get a nice poem. Yes, here it is. And we can scroll and it looks nice. Now we should implement streaming to this so it would actually come token by token. But that is a future video. Now, I forgot to free the memory, so let's do that. Let's call down here, conversation free conversations free and we pass in the conversations and we have to pass in also the conversation count and message count so now this should work and it does work and we can add conversations and we can say hello and it still works now when you use malloc you really have to test this out because it might seem like it works but then at some point it doesn't work <laughs> because you might be writing into like a wrong place in memory or at some point reading from a wrong index in memory, but it might not happen right away when you test. So you really have to test it out. But I think this is now working properly. Now, I'm not sure how to test the memory leaks with this one. So I guess I could add an ampersand here again. And if I take this and I am going to again run sudo... P, uh, what was it called? Pmap x with this one, then we see the memory usage here. But again, we are not really doing anything that would increase the memory over time. So I'm not sure how necessary it is to actually free the memory in this case. I guess if we will implement like deleting of the conversations, then we should free the memory of the deleted ones. So then maybe we could try to like add a million conversations and then delete them and see if we get back to zero. But at least now if I run this, then we are not getting more memory usage o over time. Now I guess I can add like these messages here and run this again and nothing happens. But the conversations are only pointers, so they don't really <laughs> take that much space. So I should actually add some text in there. So what if I say, write a poem about a cat. Then we get a poem about a cat. And if I now run this, then it didn't change anything. <laughs> Did it? No, nothing happened. So I'm not sure how to test this out, but it seems to work. So I am going to commit these changes in the repo and let me know in the comments, what should I do next? And we of course can now get rid of our maximum conversations because we don't use it anymore. And maximum messages, we don't use that anymore. And message length, we still use it in a few different places. But at least we don't have to have a limit on the conversations and the messages. Now, there will be a limit on the message length from ChatGPT too. So, which might actually, it might be bigger than this. We might actually have to add like 20,000 or something here. But this is now used only here where we create the text box because it needs to know the maximum length of the text that you can type in as the message. And this is the actual buffer into which 
the message that we type is written. And this we actually could get rid of this kind of a bad implementation of <laughs> how to handle the chat GPT message, I think. But anyway, we are making progress. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And leave me a like and I will see you in the next one.